a perfect tutorial. We we'll look at the single channel spectral data. Now, if you want to know the spatial distribution or the topographic information, we can use the topographic. Click here. You can check the frequency range, but in this case, we can click lower. Yes, it's fine. We can click yes. And then we tell you the range of the spectral power. See, this is spectral. This each of the channels which has the uh, spectral power and the here shows the power this is a label that's the label of the channels here is the right orange that means the left and right orientation here those up or down we can show the sensor we can show the scale the scale is here current scale and uh, we can also use the show the information. The spectrum can outfit the color and automatically adjust the scale. We can link this window to a single uh, channel spectral power. This is step X and Y, that's for animations. If you want to show the movie of this. And this is how wide of the time frequency representation here. For example, we can increase to 90. 90. See, we have a bigger patch of the spectral power and it shows their distribution. Right. And uh, this is the uh, means of movie. We show the movie, this we show how step and uh, the speed. And uh, this is the uh, sensor size. If you want to adjust the dim display we click the settings as you can see here we uncheck here we see we can adjust them you can see the spectral power here and we can also change the color style We can reset. Reset is you can see in the left bottom corner, they show the time range and the frequency here. This is scale shows the minimal, zero, the maximum here. If you click the auto fit, they will automatically adjust with the view or the parameters. If you click the set, and then you can select the channel. As you can see, once we select them, here we show you which channel you selected. You can move, move the, them, move up, move down. Basically, as you can see, in the single channel. So, we only in this each channel we only show a small portion of the spectrogram. So, you can move them up, move them down. Once you release it, they will return from the very beginning. If you click start moving, as you can see, they will start moving. Here is exactly which frequency range, which time window are showing in this topographic distributions. Click stop, then we can stop. And uh, we, of course, we can refresh it. We can apply all the change to here. In the view, we have different models. We could typical model, that means we remove them. You can also use uh, switch sensor selection, sensor view. You can define the sensor, how wide it is. You can define the limb, what kind of limb. You will use model color or special color. You can define the font. You can define the profile length. You can if I either hide or show the color scale, you see it's gone. Oh, come back. 
um, you can show the sensor from the sensor or in the middle of it. This is a time frequency information here. Yeah. 